today's topic is about regulation of purine synthesis so first step for this purine adenine guanine formation that is ribose 5 phosphate plus atp which will make prpp with the help of this synthetase enzyme phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate further converted into the pra molecule that is phosphoribosyl amine with the help of prpp glutamyl amidotransferase enzyme for that enzymatic activity glutamine is needed which will add amine group over the prpp along with that glutamic acid and pyrophosphate will be released in this reaction so final that pra molecule phosphoribosyl amine is synthesis after that inosine monophosphate that is the first purine ring is synthesized in this purine synthesis now this inosine monophosphate is converted into the amp and gmp with the help of synthetase and dehydrogenase enzyme this amp gmp is converted into the adp gdp as well as it is respectively forming atp and gtp interestingly atp is needed for the gmp formation while gtp is needed for the amp formation so up to here that purine formation now all these step you have to remember as a regulation so this prpp glutamyl amidotransferase which is rate limiting it is also a committed step which is inhibited by this amp and gmp this amidotransferase enzyme which is monomeric in nature then it is active form but when it is converted into the dimeric form it will convert into the inactive form over this enzyme amidotransferase there are different site available for the attachment of amp and gmp when both will attach synergistically inhibit this amidotransferase enzyme so it is also considered a committed step for the purine formation now amp that is also inhibiting synthetase enzyme as well as this amidotransferase enzyme further gmp is also able to inhibit dehydrogenase and amidotransferase enzyme so that is how purine synthesis is regulated in our body now next that is clinical importance about that formation so for that clinical importance analogs of this purine can be utilized for inhibition of this purine synthesis so they are working as a competitive inhibitor of the nucleotide they will be utilized to synthesize dna so this analog is given so instead of that actual nucleotide that is adenine guanine this analog will be utilized for the dna formation and this such dna which is made up of this analog of the purine will become functionally inactive so thereby cell division is arrested so they are this analog are utilized as a anti cancer drug that is the main clinical importance as well as biological significance of this purine synthesis regulation so in the structure first you can see the structure of the inosine monophosphate now next that is six mercaptopurine so over the six position six carbon that is sh group is present there is a thio group is present over the guanine over the six position while over the eight position of guanine there is a aza group is present so these six mercaptopurine six thio guanine eight aza guanine all will working as a competitive inhibitor of the purine ring so what happen this all will inhibit the conversion of inosine monophosphate to the gmp and amp respectively so they will be utilized as a anti cancer drug further if you are knowing that purine synthesis then it will be easy to understand about the different analog so folate antagonist particularly methotrexate so it with this folic acid is basically needed for the one carbon group metabolism as well as transportation so this folic acid is not available so in purine synthesis particularly second carbon and eight carbon that is added with the help of thfa so methotrexate is there and then this second and eight carbon will not added over the purine ring so this purine formation will be inhibited so this can also utilize as a anti cancer drug for the azacyrin which is a glutamine antagonist that will inhibit amidotransferase enzyme so that spra and fagam formation will be inhibited you can remember that third and first nitrogen added sorry third and ninth nitrogen that is added with the help of this glutamine so this azacyrin will inhibit further purine formation arabinoside where ribose is replaced by the arabinose so ribose molecule is not present so for the reaction which is attachment of phosphate over the ribose sugar will not occur so that can also utilize as a anti cancer drug so that is about how this different anti anti cancer drug based on this purine analogs so that's all about today's lecture